Now, by the way, I've been thinking about my cheating. Remember when I confessed a few days ago that when I was eight or nine, I cheated in a tournament? I lost, of course. I'm thinking about it, and now I want to change my story because everybody who cheats changes their story. But I'm changing my story. Now that I thought about it a long time, that tournament was in was in either was between January and April of 1977 because it was the U.S. class. So that means I was seven when I cheated. And I thought I was eight or nine. But now that I've thought about it again, I was really bad at chess when I when I took my move back. I was like, you know, like 800 strength. And I lost the game where I took my move back, but I think I was seven. So I'm changing my story. So there you go. Yeah, I don't think I was eight or nine. I think I was seven. Well, the, the way I cheated, and you'd think I would forget this because I'm 53 years old, but I didn't forget it. I made a move. I hit the clock. I wrote it down. My opponent wasn't at the board. I was playing an adult. And I was like, oh, that loses like the exchange or something. I don't know. So I took the move back and hit my clock back and erased my move. And I made another move. I don't think my other move was better. I think I was just as bad. And I got crushed that game. Right. And my opponent and I were both under a thousand. In fact, I was way under a thousand. And I never said anything to anybody, but I felt bad about it. And I still do, even though, you know, it was 46 years ago. And still, you shouldn't take moves back. But obviously, I lost because that's the punishment you get for cheating. So. I'm a terrible cheater. Like when Robbie cheated, which is up for discussion in poker, you know, it was like 50 50, and she ended up winning. When I cheated when I was seven, I lost. So, you know, I'm the worst cheater ever. Yeah.